this is Katie. Welcome to another Sunday vlog. Today's vlog is actually going to be a birthday vlog. It is my birthday today, Friday, August 4th, that I'm recording this. And so right now I am on my way to the beach. I have lived in Florida for two and a half months and I have not been to a Florida beach yet this summer. And so I decided to go to the beach and I'm going to make that into a separate video that I'll post later this week, but I still am gonna show you guys in this video a little bit of a sneak peek of the beach. And then I'm gonna go home and do a couple things. I'm gonna make myself a cake and then uh, my roommate slash best friend and I are gonna go out a little bit tonight. And so yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along with me on my birthday. I am, do you know how old I am? <laughs> it's not a big deal. Age is a privilege, but it just like, certain numbers just feel weird, you know? Um, I'm 37 today. I don't know why 37 just feels so like, strange it feels strange but yeah my arm is already getting tired so i'm going to put the camera down and then uh, i'll talk to you guys in a little bit feels like just yesterday can we get back to that place where we would stay Hey guys, I just parked. I'm at Fort Island Gulf Beach on the western side of Florida on the Gulf side, which I heard the beaches out here are better, like calmer and nicer sand and stuff. And so um, I'm here. Hey guys, birthday at the beach. Um, I am going to lie down and I'm gonna read this Catherine Center book. Okay, so I'm just leaving the beach now. It was really nice. I'll have that vlog up in a few days. But yeah, I'm gonna head back home and I'll show you guys what I'm doing the rest of the day. So far out of touch All those mistakes I wish I could go and change Everybody knows you talk about me But you don't ever pick up when I call um, I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, and so I'm eating frosting out of the jar, can, what is this thing called? Container? All right, you can't really see this, but I'm gonna be making a gluten-free funfetti cake. I've had this a couple times, and as far as I remember, this tastes incredibly similar to a non-gluten-free funfetti cake. And so I'm just gonna make this real quick. I said it. All right, what do I do? Here, I'll put that. Where can you see it? There. There you go. This is not opening, and I feel like it's gonna like, you know. Okay. A cup of water. third cup of oil. I don't love using canola oil for things, but every once in a while. I know you can't see this, just believe me. And then take a break for some frosting. Okay. And then three eggs. The box fell. Um, I have a parchment paper lined, what is it, eight by eight or something? What are you? Nine by nine? Nine by nine, I think. So just put parchment paper in there. gonna make dinner but now that I've had all the sugar I just want more sugar I should still probably make dinner though 
Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna make like a chicken wrap kind of thing. Um, do you remember, it was like trendy like a year or two ago where people would take a tortilla and then slice just like half of it down the diameter and then like fold it up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna essentially make one of those with chicken, banana peppers, jalapenos, pickles, like a bunch of stuff. And so this chicken in here, I just baked um, like two days ago. And so I am going to put some of this on this pan, heat it up a little bit and also put some spices because I didn't add any spices to the chicken because I wanted to kind of be able to eat it with anything. So I just knew that I was gonna like add the spices when I was cooking it again to eat it. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm just kind of breaking this up with my fingers. Can you even see this? I have no clue, maybe. Okay. So, Let's do this. How's that? All right, so I'm just gonna add more salt and then onion and garlic powder. And a little bit of cayenne. Cause I do like spicy things, but I have jalapenos, so I don't wanna add too much cayenne, you know. Pomplemousse LaCroix, the best seltzer, the best one. And the wraps I have are the Live G Free Gluten Free Original Wraps. I get these from Aldi. They're pretty good for being gluten free wraps. And they don't have dairy or anything in them. Okay, I only have four more minutes of space left on here. So I'm gonna shut the camera off now and then I'm gonna assemble this and then I'll turn the camera back on and show you what I did. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a bad angle, but trust me. Okay, so tortilla and then I'm gonna make a little cut like right here. And then I do mine a little bit differently than like I've seen online, but basically I like to put most of the toppings on the other side of the cut. Does that make sense? And then I like to fold both sides of the cut up and then fold it in half. Because I feel like when you just fold it, fold it and fold it like that, that there's one side that's open. And so it's a little bit easier for everything to like fall out. When you do it like this, I think it's a little bit easier for everything to stay together. That's my opinion on that. So I put some follow your heart provolone, the chicken, and then onions, pickles, banana peppers, and jalapenos. Again, you can't really see me because my angles are not great, but I am going to fold this side up and then this side up and then in half this way. I just think it stays together a little bit better in my opinion. And also, especially with these wraps, but I don't know about other wraps, um, I did heat it up a little bit before so I could like bend it easier without it breaking. So then I just like to put a little bit of olive oil on the pan and then put it in. I'm on like medium heat. But I just like to get a crisp on it and then I flip it over, get a crisp on the other side and then it's done and it's delicious. And you can put sauce and stuff on it too, obviously, but I uh, am not going to. All right, I'll show you when it's done. Look how crispy that top is. Mm. All right, done. Can you see that? Gotta let it cool down a little bit before I eat it, but. <laughs> it's not. That's my dinner. I'm gonna have some chips on the side, a pickle. Oh, I'm also gonna put lettuce on top. That's it, that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. Can I take a little bite now? It's still too hot. I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm gonna eat. And then I think, honestly, once the cake's out of the oven, I'm gonna put it in the fridge while my friend and I go out to cool down. But we're gonna record a little bit while we're out. And then when I get back, frost the cake and eat that. I'll probably show that too. But all right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
Okay, so my best friend and I just got back from the arcade. It was so much fun. It's not Dave and Buster's, but it was like really, really similar to Dave and Buster's. And they had a like glow in the dark black light indoor mini golf course. It was so much fun. And it was like all retro stuff. It was so cool. I didn't count who won, but like I'm pretty sure that I won. But anyway, we are back now and the cake is cooled down. I'm just gonna frost it quick and then eat it. for a rustic type of frosting. Sprinkles. Don't you think there'd be like a pull tab? There's not, I just have to, but my nails are for it. My birthday cake. Okay, I'm just gonna eat it out of here. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I really want milk with it. One bite. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on my birthday. I hope that you enjoyed. I really hope that you're subscribed for some travel videos, lifestyle videos, and other videos, just like hanging out with me. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.